what the locals want and how good is it that this House can come together to deliver it. Yeah. I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an absolute pleasure to rise in support of this, the Gora District Council Otama Rural Water Supply Bill, because at its fundamental, at the heart of this bill, Madam Speaker, this bill is about personal responsibility. We see the beneficiaries of the Otama Water Supply choosing, choosing to take upon themselves not only the ownership of the assets but the responsibility for their maintenance, upkeep and improvement. They are the beneficiaries of the water that supplies those farms and they have voted, overwhelmingly voted, to take upon themselves the responsibility for those assets. Well, that is a core National Party value and it was a delight to see Mr McAnulty stand up in this House and champion the National Party value of personal responsibility. There's hope for the man yet. Madam Speaker, along the course of the debate on this first reading, we've had a masterclass from this side of the House, from Jackie Dean, uh, with her local body experience, on why this legislation is necessary to allow these people to take upon themselves responsibility for their water assets, and also from uh, Mr Ian McKelvey on these community water schemes, uh, how they were developed and put in place by small communities around rural New Zealand, uh, how they lost uh, control of them to councils over particularly the 80s and beyond, and how this in some way how empowers uh, particularly this community group to take that back. Now, as a List MP based on Oharu, Madam Speaker, I like to tell my colleagues in particular that Oharu is a mixed urban rural environment, and I would encourage members from across the House to drive through Oharu Valley, Takabu Valley, and Horokiwi and see the farms for themselves. Not as large, it is true, as the farms in many parts of the northern and south islands, but still people making a living from the land in Oharu. And not just the land, because at Mill Creek and Oharu Valley, we have the Mill Creek wind farm. And they make money in Oharu Valley from wind as well, which just goes to show, Madam Speaker, despite what the media sometimes report, in Wellington you can get productivity from hot air. Uh, but what I would say, Madam Speaker, in conclusion on this particular bill is to reinforce what it actually is and the choice that the good folk uh, that um, benefit from the Otara, uh, Otama Rural Water Supply have made. Because the Gore District Council acknowledged that they believed they had legal responsibility for those assets. So that while they had been for some years uh, charging the users of those assets for the maintenance and upkeep of them. Ultimately, because the legal responsibility is borne by the District Council, ultimately, if something had gone truly wrong or badly wrong, then the ultimate financial responsibility for that could have been borne by the general ratepayers of the district and not solely by those benefiting uh, from that water supply. So that makes it even more remarkable, uh, but not uncommon across rural folk of New Zealand, so many of them good, strong National Party stalwarts. It makes it perhaps not surprisingly to us, but to some, Madam Speaker, that the group of people, overwhelmingly from those more than 200 farms and other community members, have overwhelmingly voted to take upon themselves that ultimate responsibility. Along the way, of course, they gain control over those assets. They can make the choices of what to do with the funding to support them, on where to invest and when. But alongside the power they get to make those decisions rests now with them the ultimate responsibility for those assets, for their upkeep uh, and for their prolonged uh, ability to deliver for those farms. And I think that speaks volumes to those people uh, not just in Otama, actually, but across rural New Zealand and New Zealand as a whole, we would argue. But it speaks volumes for their character, that where they could have kept the status quo, where the ultimate responsibility would have been spread, socialising the losses, I believe it's sometimes referred to as Madam Speaker, they could have maintained an environment where they could potentially have spread losses across people who don't benefit from that water supply. 
When given the opportunity, they have raised their hands very, in very large numbers and overwhelmingly chosen that they want to bear the responsibility, they want to be empowered to make their decisions, and they are prepared to take the risks that come along with that, and I salute them, Madam Speaker. I call... Are you, are you, are you going for the call? Yeah, Madam Speaker. I call Mark Patterson. Madam Speaker, uh, thank you, uh, and it is a pleasure to say...